this is sailor basha welcome to our marine knowledge channel if this is your first time to visit our channel please like and subscribe so that uh, you will get notification of further videos which i am going to post on my channel today i would like to share some videos about uh, how to do friction pad renewal friction pad inspection on a lube oil purifier so what are all the checks that we need to do and what are all the precautions that we need to take before doing any maintenance work on purifier how to do the maintenance how to do the inspection i will give you the maximum information please watch the video let's go okay now we are ready to inspect friction pad for a lube oil purifier the reason why we are uh, going to inspect the friction pad is uh, we found a lot of uh, friction pad worn out uh, dust behind the friction boss so that is one reason that we are going to open the uh, friction pad for inspection you can see the friction pad inside the friction boss uh, okay uh, we will remove it first and we will see the condition of uh, friction pad and uh, most important thing is uh, whenever you want to do any maintenance work in your purifier make sure your purifier is off and your power is uh, power for the motor is isolated and a play cord like uh, do not start cord should be placed over the power uh, socket and uh, else uh, we are just start the job now okay first we need to make a marking on the motor and purifier casing and uh, the reason for making a marking is like after uh, dismantling while you are assembling the motor you can fit it as it uh, you opened uh, earlier and now you are opening your uh, bolts for uh, your motor and uh, first thing uh, you just loosen your motor now we are uh, loosening it we have four bolts for this uh, motor and you can see a chain block hanging on top of it this is to lift the motor and uh, while using chain block please ensure your chain block is uh, in a good condition your safety latch is in good condition and uh, just check for your load whichever load you want to lift and accordingly you have to choose your uh, chain block so that your lifting will be in a good way and in a safer way so now we are opening the bolts okay all four bolts are now opened okay we removed now okay we removed all four just we do a cross check all four are out okay no bolts in it place okay we checked in the bottom also okay now is ready to lift okay now motor can be pulled out using your chain block so always use your chain block in a proper way so that uh, while you are lifting you don't get hurt or you don't get uh, any injury uh, yeah you can see the friction pad yeah we have three friction pad in this uh, friction clutch and uh, now we have to keep the motor secured so that uh, the motor won't roll down or it don't get damaged and yeah we are securing it okay secure the motor in a proper way okay now you can see the friction boss so what do you need to check in the friction boss is just check for the nut friction nut the horizontal uh, shaft nut and your lock washer should be in position and your friction boss um, you can just uh, feel and uh, it is good condition and now it's your friction clutch you can see the friction clutch is also in a very good condition there is no damage nothing okay now we will see the friction pad yeah now the friction pad yes this friction pad is really near 
bad condition totally worn out yeah you can see the powder uh, earlier i showed that is because of this uh, worn out powder of oh, friction pad you can now see the difference between the new friction pad and uh, old friction pad you can see the amount of worn out of the old one and you can see the condition of new one okay now we will change the new one okay you can see uh, slot uh, you can see a uh, slot six number of slot will be in the friction clutch so you have to fit your friction pad in every alternate uh, in every alternate uh, slot so that uh, it will be in a proper way and this is a procedure actually you have to uh, fit the friction pad in every alternate slots so the reason for putting the rubber band is uh, while fixing back uh, the friction pad should not fall down and now we had seen inspected all three friction pad are in place and uh, okay now we can fit back the motor so we are lifting up okay we lift it up and easily easily you have to take it near the friction boss and uh, slowly slowly you have to fit it inside and you have to ensure it is not hitting the boss yeah you can see it's very very nicely going inside okay it's now fitted no no friction pad had fallen down uh, yeah the reason for that marking i said earlier so now you can fix the bolt easily if your marking is matched that means you can uh, fit your uh, bolts in a proper way so you have to do little bit uh, up and down on motor when you are uh, fitting your bolts because uh, the weight of the motor will try to go down and uh, you have to use your chain lock just lift it little bit up and uh, you can fit them fit the bolts okay now we are fitting the bolts yeah the bolts is now in proper thread and bottom bolts yeah bottom bolts usually give some problem so you have to little bit align it so that uh, the bolts exactly goes into the thread yeah you can see we are facing some problem but it's okay we can fix it up okay yeah we fixed the bolts all four bolts are in place now we are tightening so when you are tightening your uh, bolt just uh, tight the bolts opposite opposite first uh, so that uh, you will get equal tightness of all four bolts so now our bolts are tightened or four bolts are in place final tightening is going on um, yeah we are done with our job and you can see the friction clutch boss everything in place no friction pad fallen down so that's all now we are done with our uh, job so remove your uh, chain blocks i believe this video must have given you some idea about how we need to change friction pad of uh, any purifiers if you like this video like share and subscribe thanks for watching guys